Next up, I got a pretty cool little creative trick that I want to show you using find similar events and replace. Let's take a listen to the original content. As you might be able to see in here, there's some pretty similar sounding events taking place. I'd like to use my magic wand tool once again to select a portion of one of these events. Additionally, I'd like to select its harmonics. Next, I want to find everything that's similar to this particular selection. To save on redundant, time-consuming selection tasks, I'll employ a handy-dandy measurement module called Find Similar. Pull up the module, and you can detect the similarity between events. If I raise the slider, it's going to look for events that are most similar to this particular instance. It's less discerning at low values. I can find similar instances one by one by hitting Find Previous or Find Next. I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice, though, and hit Find All to find all candidates. You can see it populated quite a bit of information. Let's take a listen by playing our Play Frequency Selection button. For my processing, I'm going to use RX's Spectral Repair tool. More particularly, I'm going to focus on the Replace tab to replace this material with material surrounding these selections. Spectral Repair is an excellent tool for repairing sounds, corrupted audio, and just removing unwanted events, but I'm going to use it for a slightly different purpose. I'm going to really work with just trying to see how this is going to smear my audio by pulling in from different sections surrounding my selection. I'll leave this set to the mid 512 bands and keep multi-resolution on. Just to see where we're starting from, let me go ahead and hit the compare button. I'll see what other results I get just by changing a few of these parameters. The surrounding region length is the region that RX uses for interpolation of the selected region, and the data from the surrounding region is used to restore the selected region. The before and after weighting, on the other hand, gives more weight to the surrounding audio either before or after the selection. This makes a difference on where it's pulling from. I'll just compare a few more settings while I'm at it. When you find a version that you like, you can hit the Process button, and that writes it to the file. But you can always undo it by going to the History once again. If you'd like to extract just the processing that you've created, you can Command C or Control C to copy it to the clipboard and then create a new document. Let's have a listen. If the overall volume is a bit too low, I can use the Gain plugin again to boost it back up. Hopefully this inspires you to dive into some of your own material and pull out those hidden sounds, use some processing, and just see what it can turn into.